Hello viewers, welcome to our today's class. Your teacher is Roger Michira, your CRE teacher. And the station you're watching is Elim TV, where you always get to watch and learn. Now class, we are introducing a new topic, and the topic is unity of believers. Unity of believers. What do we understand about unity? That oneness, that togetherness, right? Of believers. And who is a believer? Good. Who is a believer? Right? What do you believe in? Who is a Christian believer? Someone who believes in God, someone who believes in Jesus Christ, and someone who believes in the Holy Spirit. Remember, that is what we had said earlier, that the Holy Spirit is three in one, three persons in one. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember, that is a representation of the Catholic, the, the Catholic doctrine. They have the sign of the cross, right? Remember, they say God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is a believer. You believe in God. You believe in Jesus Christ, who, who is his Son. Then also you believe in the Holy Spirit. And again, let me take you back to the Apostle Creed, right? I believe in God. Right, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. You see that? Unit of believers, the oneness, the togetherness of early Christians. Good. What do you expect by the end of the lesson? Good class. We need to state how early Christians demonstrated their unit. Let's get to look at the early Christians. Who are they? How did they demonstrate their unity? Right? Good. The early Christians in Jerusalem demonstrated their unity by holding joint prayer sessions. Look at that. Right? They're holding hands together. They have got their study materials. They have got their Bibles. Right? They're holding joint prayer sessions. That is how the early Christians demonstrated their unity. Good. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Talk of the sharing, sharing the Lord's Supper. That's the Eucharist. Sharing the Lord's Supper. Look at Jesus. Right? He shared the Lord's Supper together with the disciples. Remember what he told uh, John Peter? Right? And James? That go to an upper room. You'll get a furnished room. Right? Tell the tenant to give you, to show you an upper room for the gates and prepare the Lord's Supper. Right? Look at them. That is, that is them. That is Jesus, the disciples, sharing the Lord's Supper. Now, Christians, how do, how do they share the Lord's Supper? It's through the Eucharist. Right? And, and most of this one is demonstrated by the, by the, by the Catholic. The Catholic uh, people of the Catholic doctrine. Right? Wherever you see the, the priest, right? Raising up the body of Christ. Good. Then uh, raising up the chalice. Those chalice. That this is, my, this is my blood. Good. That is the Eucharist. Remember, they are sharing that in unity. Because they are believers. They believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in God. They believe in the Holy Spirit. That is why they come together as a church. As believers. Good. They also sharing their possessions with the poor. Remember what... 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 what uh, what uh, Jesus told them, right? When he was at the shows, that if you have got two coats, give one to whoever who has none. And then they were, they were like, hey, how, how, how am I going to give my coat to whoever who has none? Jesus was just teaching them about sharing, right? You can see that. They are sharing. Good. The issue of sharing. Very good. Look at that. Look at that. The second image there. They are sharing. Good. And also, the early Christians, they showed oneness and unity as believers. They expressed their oneness using various terms. For example, images, right? Metaphors and samples. Do you know, look at, look at, look at uh, the Catholic doctrine. They have got those signs, Right? Suppose you're walking, suppose you are in a meeting and you want to pray, right? You want to pray. 
Then you see, you see, you see. Let me, let me, let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate here. Then you get to see you are in, you are in a prayer session. Then you get to see some people take the sign of the cross, right? The sign of the cross. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good. The sign of the cross. What do you, what do you realize? Hey, this one belongs to us, right? So they they they, they, they express their oneness using various terms, images, metaphors, and also symbols. They also regarded themselves as the people of God, the church and the assembly of God. Right? Good. They, they, they saw themselves as belonging to one tree, the vine and the branch. So we, we get to look at this also. The issue of sharing the body of Christ, that this is my, 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 my body. Good. Christians, the, in, the, in the, the Catholic doctrine, they, they, they do share that and those other doctrines. Good. Now, briefly, class, we have looked at the unit of, we have introduced the topic unit of believers and we have looked at how did they share unity, how did they show unity of believers. And we said a believer is a person who believes in God, who believes in Jesus Christ, his son, and who believes in the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, class for your attendance and for your participation. And as always, this is LM TV, your favorite learning channel. And your teacher was Roger Michira, the CRE teacher. Thank you all and let us meet in the next class.